Hi everybody, hope you're doing really well. Um, would love to know what you guys have been missing in terms of beauty and beauty appointments whilst we've all been staying at home. I know for myself, I've really been missing my regular facials. One of the things that I've been doing is an at-home facial once a week in the evenings and I thought that I would take you through some of the steps that I've been doing. Um, I've spoken about this several times on my channel, how I have kind of acne prone skin and how important it is for me to resurface the skin, exfoliate. And so I wanted to take you through the steps and some of the products that I use for an at home facial. Okay, so the first thing I'm just gonna throw my hair up. I don't know about you guys, but my hair has been growing like weeds in isolation. It's gotten so long and it's been kind of nice to not have a ton of styling done to it every day at work. I can really feel how um, much healthier it's become over the last few weeks and I haven't had it colored. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is cleanse my skin. I've got a little bit of makeup on. I've had a few Zoom calls today. And first step whenever you have a facial is that you're going to get your skin really beautifully clean and ready to absorb all of those beautiful products that we're going to be using throughout the facial. This is IS Clinical's Cleansing Complex. This is like a lightweight, low lather gel. It's really a gentle cleanser, but really powerful at the same time. It has some mild resurfacing ingredients in it that thoroughly cleanse the skin surface and the pores. So some of the ingredients that it has are AHA, salicylic acid and glycolic acid. And so despite it being a very gentle cleanser, it's also very powerful. It's great for removing makeup and it really truly is a cleanser that comes really recommended by a lot of facialists. And so I have been using this cleanser now for about seven or eight years, ever since I was first introduced to Is Clinical. So I'm gonna to go to my sink and with a warm washcloth, I'm just gonna dampen my skin and cleanse my face. Be right back. Okay, so now that my skin is thoroughly cleansed, the next step I'm going to do is I'm actually gonna steam. I recently got this at-home steamer. This is from Vanity Planet, and you basically sit it on your vanity and, and sort of sit or stand in front of it for a few minutes. So basically what the steaming is going to do is really soften the skin, open up the pores for all of the products that I'm then gonna use afterwards. Um, it's gonna really help them be absorbed into the skin and um, it feels really wonderful. You can actually add your own essential oils to this, so you can have a really kind of aromatic steam. It's really relaxing, quite indulgent, highly recommend it. So it takes a couple minutes to get going. You can see it's just starting to bubble and steam, and you can see it's, for such a small device, it's a reasonable amount of steam that comes out of this. I'm gonna place it on my countertop just because that's how they recommend that you use it. You shouldn't really kind of hold it and walk around. It really needs to be on, on a flat, sturdy surface. But essentially, I'm gonna put it on a surface and I'm just gonna put my face into the steam. Okay, so I've finished up on the steam. It automatically switches itself off after, I think, 15, after about 10 minutes. Um, and I can just feel already how much that's like opened my pores and made my skin feel really supple and soft. And so it's really prepping my skin for all of these next steps that I'm going to take. Okay, so P50 lotion. For those of you that are not already familiar with this product, it is a sort of, I would say, more of a toner. It has a really unique, pungent scent to it. It's not for everyone. I personally really like the scent. I wouldn't wear it as a fragrance, but I find it to be a very kind of cleansing. If you're English, You'll know when I say it smells like a mix of Marmite and TCP. And so this is how I use um, P50, but I apply a little bit onto a cotton pad. And P50 really works to balance the skin's pH. It strengthens and protects the epidermis, and it's also really hydrating, um, and it will exfoliate and remove dead skin cells and any impurities. Basically, the best way to apply this to your skin is actually to use upward pushing-like motions rather than wiping motions, and it has a slight tingling-like feeling to it. And so I usually do this for a couple of minutes, making sure that 
and get the neck area. Next up, I'm going to use Bieber's Glyco C Thermal Organic Pumpkin Peel. So it's packed full of vitamin C, AHAs, glycolic acid, and it's really gonna help remove any of the, the buildup on my skin. I received this recently from Bieber as a gift. She recommended that I use this at home once a week. I'm actually gonna apply this with a brush. So you wanna apply a thin layer to clear skin and leave it on for about three to five minutes. So it's got a real warming, tingling-like sensation to it, hence the name Thermal Organic Peel. Avoiding the eye area, I'm really only going up to the top of the cheekbone and down onto my neck as well. I'm gonna leave this on for, I think, three minutes tonight because I'm gonna be doing quite a few steps. Don't wanna overdo it. Okay, so three minutes is up. I'm gonna remove the peel now, again, with some warm water and a face cloth. So my skin feels really warm, very supple and soft after that mask, really kind of exfoliated. I feel like I've got lovely, baby, smooth skin. And I personally really like that it's left the skin looking a little bit rosy and very flushed. Uh, the next step I'm going to do, I've never actually used this before. I received it today, I ordered it yesterday, but I bought it after I watched Mandy Madden Kelly's video that she did for Rose Inc. If you haven't seen that video, highly recommend it. She used some really interesting tools and had amazing skincare tips and she has herself the most insanely beautiful skin I've ever seen. So whatever she was selling and using, I was buying. So it's called the Cosmetic Gold Roll from Environ. It's designed to help enhance the overall look of your skin tone. Um, it's also so help, supposed to help with any fine lines or any scarring. I remember Mandy also saying that she really worked, um, she spent extra time and attention working on her sort of fine lines, on her laughter lines. So actually whilst I'm doing this, I'm gonna apply some eye patches. Okay, so these are the Chanel Le Lift eye patches cool down the eye area. So probably something really nice to use before you do makeup, or before you've got a big event. So it's really designed to enhance the effectiveness of any products that you're going to apply into onto the skin afterwards. I remember Mandy mentioning that only a small percentage of the ingredients from our skincare products actually reaches into the pores of our skin. And so doing something like derma rolling is basically going to allow the product to get pushed further and absorbed further. All right, so I've been doing that now for a few minutes. I think that's probably good. Again, don't wanna overdo it tonight as I'm doing so many steps. I'm gonna remove these eye patches and move on to the next step. Okay, so the next product that I'm going to use is the Overnight Brightening Mask from Pipette. This is their newest product launch. This is actually a product that you can use every night or a few times a week. It's not just a once a week kind of treatment. It is an overnight brightening mask, as it mentions. Anyone that's not familiar with Pipette, it is a clean, non-toxic mother and baby skincare line. So the overnight brightening mask is going to boost glow and reduce any dark spots. I know that is something that I really dealt with when I was pregnant and particularly postpartum, but even now that's certainly bright skin is what I'm always looking for and any reduction of imperfections or dark spots in my skin as well. So I've applied two to three pumps into my hand and you can really just apply that to your face and neck. So some of the ingredients that I really love in this product and my skin loves as well is the lactic and malic acid. And it's gonna exfoliate my skin without any irritation. So I'm just applying this and again, using almost like pushing like motions instead of swiping so I can really make sure it's absorbing into the skin. And because I did that needling before, I can really feel this penetrating into the skin beautifully. And another ingredient that this product has in it is squalene, which is a 100% sugar cane derived ingredient, which makes it fully sustainable and adds a really beautiful like weightless moisture to my skin. And so one of the other things I was worth me mentioning about pet products and why I love them so much is that they're all vegan, they're clean, they're non-toxic, they're EWG verified. I can feel really confident knowing that these products are really safe for myself and for Jack. So that really is the final step that I need to do. And I love that I can just go to bed, 
it's fully absorbed into my skin. It doesn't feel tacky or sticky and it's really gonna do the work for me overnight. And so what I love about this is when I wake up in the morning, I can really see like visible signs that my skin feels much smoother and softer and more radiant. All the things that you want your skin to look when you wake up in the morning. So it really is a sort of multitasking product. I can wake up and my skin's going to look brighter, softer, more supple, smoother. And the other thing I really love about this product is it's really affordable. For being a product packed full of so many incredible ingredients, I think it's a really good price point. So the last thing I'm gonna do is apply a little bit of lip balm. I've been using this Summer Fridays vanilla lip balm the last few weeks and love this to go to bed with. It's really lovely and thick and hydrating and smells lovely. Okay, so thank you so much for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video and got some really good tips and product recommendations. Would love to hear all about your guys at home beauty routines and DIY at home facials that you've been up to. Please subscribe to the channel if you like this video. I hope you're all staying safe and well and healthy and I'm sending you all lots of love and a big kiss. Take care.